Burger and I are going to be very happy together. <laughs> a burger broke up with me on a post-it. What if he never calls and three weeks from now I pick up the New York Times and I read that he's married some perfect little woman who never passes gas under his $500 sheets? <laughs> well, it's the last single girl kiss. I don't want to screw it up. You won't. You won't. We are going to spend the afternoon at the Hotel Petrovsky. But is it safe? Are there stairs? What about sharp edges? Charlotte, it's a death trap. We're just going to strap a pillow around the kid and hope for the best. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I kill everything I bring in there. And just like that, Big died. I do not pick the wrong guys. They pick me. Pick me. You should see me around him. I'm, I'm not like me. Why wasn't it me? Why her? So will I actually get to see you sometime? Yeah, absolutely. How about tonight? Big's got this dinner thing, so you know, I, I wear little outfits. Well, look at you all dressed up. I'm running around town in a beret! You know, sexy Carrie. Interesting dress. So I wore my very little dress that left very little to the imagination. I showed up at his apartment wearing my secret weapon skirt that really hugged my hips. Look at that. And there she is. Why do you see me in these? Casual Carrie. Sometimes I catch myself actually posing. It's just, it's exhausting. What was I getting out of this anyway? Five minutes to my last scheduled hour, I got my answer. Hey. My third appointment with Dr. G. I had worn my new dress for the occasion. There she was, Miss Atlantic Slutty. Are you in there? No, but I think Harlot is. Those are for women who have lost all their money and have to turn tricks. Are we sluts? Carrie Bradshaw, Preston. I broke in big. I broke him in, and now the idiot stick figure with no soul gets to ride him. Why her? I can sum up my life in one breath. Work, work, au bon pain, work. And you? Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. So now it's going to be a casual sex thing? Maybe. So you just dropped your life and ran right on over to his. It's all about him. I like it's better than the guy. Burger. Burger. You have to get out. Big's here. I need to have sex. We've got this physical, chemical kind of connection that's hard to shake. Kiss me. Henry. Oh, what? I'm exhausted. Sorry. At least lie on top of me. Why aren't we having sex? Oh, wait, wait, wait. That was the first night we slept together and didn't make love. Why don't you want to sleep with me? Let's talk just a little more. Hey, how are you feeling? Better. Hey. I'm fine. I farted. I farted in front of my boyfriend. You farted. You're human. I don't want him to know that. Ladies, if you are single in New York, after a certain point, there is nowhere to go but down. I'm pregnant. Have you told him? Why would I tell him? I'm not having it. My regular doctor doesn't do them. No judgment. I want to get it over with as soon as possible. Have you thought any more about telling Steve? No. Well, maybe he has a right to know. No judgment. Sounds like judgment. I told Aiden. Harry, he's going to tell Steve. You seem to have pretty strong opinions about the guy having a right to know. I'm late. I missed my period. How late? Seven days. You're going to tell Mr. Big? No, I am not going to tell him. You're sleeping with Big? Carrie, he was such an asshole to you. Not really. Maybe sometimes, but it just, it kind of feels OK. If things get really bad, then I'll move to Paris for a while. But you be moving to Paris for yourself, right? I mean, don't move for me. Well, why would I move to Paris if it wasn't for you? I'm going to Paris. What about your job? I quit. I can stay here, or I can go with him and live my life. You mean his life? That crazy movie star lady broke up with him. He's devastated. He has no one else to talk to. I would never do this, but he's really hurt. Bruh. You smoke? I can't date a smoker. I've been thinking about quitting anyway, so... Why not now? Seven hours into the world's longest date, the world is made up of two types of women, the simple girls and the Katie girls. I am a Katie girl. If this were a French movie, we'd fall in love and get married. Bitch, what the fuck? Just tell me I'm the one. You'll see, Carrie. You going for the opening? Yeah, she's coming with me to live.
Maybe we could do long distance for, for a while? It's never worked for me. Someone meets someone, someone gets bored. Someone meets someone, someone gets bored. I want to go to Paris. Gotcha, bitch! I need some time to think. Well, how much time? About a week. I'm going to go out to my Hamptons house. I decided to rent a car and drive the distance to get closer to Burger. You know what, yes, it's painful sometimes, but it's worth it. At least we were happy, at the end. She was smart, beautiful, and she got me. I'd have to kill her. Your ex-wife's breast, your ex-wife's lips, your ex-wife's long legs. All right, tell that whore Allegra I said bye. The man has dated every woman in New York from 1977 until, well, until last Wednesday. Did you see that Spy Girl movie? I thought she was pretty good. Well, I don't know about that. I do know she wears many wrong things on the red carpet. She wears many wrong things. She wears many wrong things. She wears many wrong things. On... I cannot believe you are dating someone named after a tree. I'm jealous of your Peloton instructor. Hi, you were great in the show. Thank you. Suddenly, I felt like I was wearing patchouli in a room full of Chanel. And um, we're in line, and then eventually... What I want to know is how can she afford the good apartment under me? No! God, please, no! No! I think Catherine Zeta-Jones is hot. Not as hot as you. Liar. It's a Natasha-specific obsession. Natasha's desk, Kathy speaking. I'd like to speak to Natasha, please. And still no response from Natasha. There is no way that the love that I had with Big is the same thing that he has with Natasha. When'd you stop calling her the idiot stick figure with no soul? Natasha? Natasha. 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 Hi, Natasha. The heels are almost high enough to put me face to face with Natasha. What was it about Natasha that always made me feel like the charity case? What did I really know about Natasha? This isn't about Big, it's about Natasha. I am beautiful and powerful, and I don't care that you're only 25 and married my ex. Natasha's not coming. What? It's not him, it's her. Her, her. You know, she's shiny hair, style section. Vera Wang, and I'm the sex column they run next to ads for penile implants. <laughs> You do want to get married someday, right? I don't know. I'm beginning to think I may not be the marrying kind. I do want to get married someday. My columns are about relationships, and when I do write about sex, it's just words. I write about sex, not love. What do I know about love? I write about sex. A sex writer? Like I write porn? And I'm the sex column. What have you discovered about these men who are dating models? I'm discovering that some of them treat it as a competitive sport, and others need the validation. Probably others just have a thing for exceptionally beautiful women. And there's something wrong with that. I think it might become a bit monotonous. And others need the validation. I'm dying to meet his mother. I've been thinking about this meeting your parents. I was just wondering if it's a good idea. Maybe he could be more than a lover. I uh, know, the only place this is going is Loverville. It was at that moment I realized I wasn't really comfortable in Loverville. You think he changed his mind? Why hasn't he asked me yet? You're not saying yes. What's your hurry? What if he realized I'm not the one? You're not sure that he's the one. The ring was not good. It was a pear-shaped diamond <gasps> with a gold band. It's such a beautiful ring. What do you think? Yes. It's just something I'm trying. It's closer to my heart this way. It, here, it's here, it's right here. It's a beautiful ring. I'm not ready for marriage. I wasn't even thinking about getting married. You just didn't want to marry me. Could I date a man who would never get married? I need you to not talk to me for one whole hour. Two seconds later. So what are you doing out here? Have you ever thought about having children? I have one, no more children. The Russian doesn't want to have kids. Maybe I'm just not a baby person. Do you want a family? Yes, I do. There it was, wrapped up in a bow. The whole life that I am never going to have with him because he had it already with somebody else. 
This vasectomy is not reversible, is it? I didn't know exactly what I wanted. Aiden moved out. You should definitely stay. At least for another day or forever. I can't. Are you sure? Are you sure? Aiden, I slept with my ex-boyfriend. You broke my heart! Come on, haven't you ever had a girl break your... <laughs> Bitch, what the fuck? You can't just come back and... I'm back in town. Call me, baby. I hate that he calls here. Nothing's happening. I don't want you to see him ever again. You can't do that. He's having girlfriend problems. I'm gonna be just a minute. I invited him up. I don't want him in my house. You don't even wear that ring on your fucking finger. I am. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. I'm a jewelry designer and I wanted to give you this. I want you to take the ring for your down payment. I'm such a fan of your column. Is there any way you would consider writing something to read at our wedding? And here to open trading, Carrie Bradshaw. Oh, I'm getting my picture taken for that magazine article in the morning. It's New York Magazine. Well, I was picked because Stanford's new boyfriend, Nevin, Nevin. is the assistant photo editor. I have been offered $4 a word at Vogue. Most people get two. The reason I've been trying to get in touch with you is an editor and... from Clearwater Press called. They're interested in turning your columns into a book. I got Vogue up to $4.50 a word. I think you're a podcast. I'd like to produce you alone, talking to callers. Lynn Cameron was a much sought after Hi. fashion show producer. You so have to be in this fashion show I'm doing. No one is more New York or has more style than you. Has more style. How do you see yourself on the cover? You know, like a writer who's smart, sexy, and properly airbrushed. Well, I can help you with that. But Samantha, I can't afford you. It'll cost you two martinis and a lunch. I got my favorite stylist to do us a favor and pull some looks for the cover. We're putting together our annual age issue and we'd like you to do 40. I want you to be featured in the magazine as the 40-year-old bride. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. When I pitched the idea of the epilogue to Oprah's book club people, they got very excited. Oscar de la Renta. Sleeveless silk file, full skirted dress. Oscar's a good friend of mine. I'll tell him you like the dress. <gasps> Have you ever heard of the Vogue accessories closet? Oh my God. I agreed to teach these stupid learning annex classes. They're paying me 300 bucks a pop. You think the studio will send a limo to pick us up? No, I do not. They should, they're making a movie out of your column. It's a little production company that's just talking about optioning my column. <laughs> All of us at Clearwater Press read your column religiously. Oh, God, I don't even do that. That's fiction, and it's not even a bestseller. Men I may not know. I've come to regard your column as my New York survival guide. Oh, Oliver, you're a dead man. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I have no idea what I'm talking about. All these men are right outside your door. Could you be more specific? Um, you mean like, like places? Samba, any sporting uh, sports bars, Mickey Mantles. Oh, I've gone there. All the men were married. Oh, real, really? Hmm. Okay, well, uh, let's see. Um, well, I once met this fellow on the Hampton Jitney. He was on some sort of parole program, so I guess that's a bad example. Are you married? Uh, no. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Have you ever been married? I'm really not an expert on men. Okay, I just write about this stuff. Then why are we paying to hear you talk about it? Well, I decided to keep my second date with the learning annex. Okay, wow. I know you've paid good money to find out how to meet men. And I have to tell you, I don't know a whole lot about it. Bitch, what the fuck? Do you know people actually ask for refunds after my first class? I take comfort in the fact that many people don't ever see my column. Carrie writes the column Sex in the City. That's great. Oh, have you read it? Uh, no. <laughs> you know, um... And I'll pay you back, you know that, right? And I'll pay you back. Hello, lover. You will come shopping with me right now and throw some much-needed money downtown. Explain why I just saw a fucking nobody.
everybody carrying the exact one we want. How many new outfits have you bought for this movie? Be honest. Six. All returnable. We go out for drinks Friday night. I'll wear my new Prada. Oh, excellent. Oh, excellent. I'm gonna take this. No, we'll take two. And, um, these in a seven. It's the newest sound machine they make with many other sounds besides frogs. It's a check from our publishers. They sold my book in Paris. It's an advance from France. Here, for you. For you. Go! Oh. And I'll pay you back. So far, I've found the most unbelievable animal in Ari dress, an adult Dolce kimono. I have spent over $2,300 Celebrating her choices. Yes, I did the math. Have these over there in the. I'm eating them tomorrow. Cute, huh? This didn't happen in a room I actually used. Hello. Okay. Uh. Didn't even bother to check and see if I had all my credit cards. Apparently, had one. One that I won't be using again for many, many years. <laughs> all dressed up, and no Petrovsky to go. Pay you back. Well, honeymoon at a romantic Mexican resort that's prepaid on my credit card because I wanted to surprise the man who jilted me. If I find the desk, the writing will come, and it better come because I'm using my new book advance to pay the fancy decorator. And I'll pay you. <laughs> as many ah! raw things